1962, Match Game debuted on NBC. It was a game show that pitted contestants in a game of wits against celebrity panelists. The contestants would try to match answers provided by the star panelists to a series of fill-in-the-blank questions. Match Game has gone through numerous iterations in the last 60 years. After its initial run on NBC from 1962 to 69, it returned with a modified format on CBS in 1973. After jumping networks and refining its formula, it became a significant hit. While there were many factors that led to its success, it's undeniable that Match Game's most valuable asset was its celebrity guest panelists. Join Facts First as we take another look at the original Match Game panelists. Brett Summers Taking the top center seat, Summers was the reigning queen of Match Game. Born Audrey Dawn Johnson in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada in 1924, Summers moved to New York City in the hopes of becoming an actress at 18. Once in the Big Apple, she legally changed her name to Brett Summers. After first marrying a man named Robert Klein, Summers got married to actor Jack Klugman. In fact, she actually was brought on to Match Game upon his suggestion. With a raspy voice, over-the-top wigs, and gaudy, oversized glasses, Summers was known for her playful banter with the other panelists. But beyond those things, she was perhaps best known for the quality of her answers. Besides Match Game, Summers appeared in TV shows such as Robert Montgomery Presents, Kraft Television Theater, The Odd Couple, and Perry Mason. Charles Nelson Riley Taking the top right panel position, Riley was famous for his witty, tongue-in-cheek answers. Routinely, he would have the audience in stitches by ending each of his responses by winking at the camera. The banter that he and Summers engaged in was downright legendary. The chemistry those two shared on screen alone justified tuning in each week. Riley would regularly chastise Summers for providing wrong answers or for copying his. For example, on one occasion, Riley demanded to move away from her. While it might just have been for show, it didn't matter, because what the viewers got was comedic gold. Riley got his start performing on and off Broadway in productions in the 60s. In the mid-60s, he started regularly appearing on TV game and variety shows. In time, he landed a regular series role as Claymore Gregg on The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. Beyond that, he also appeared in shows like The Patty Duke Show, Here's Lucy, The Dean Martin Show, and Love American Style. But it was his time on Match Game that ultimately turned Riley into a household name. Richard Dawson Dawson was born Coleon Lionel M. on November 20th, 1932 in Hampshire, England. At age 14, he ran away from home to join the British Merchant Navy. While there, he pursued a career of boxing, making roughly $15,000 from various fights he competed in. After leaving the Navy, he adopted the name Dickie Dawson and started pursuing a career in comedy. After reaching adulthood, he had his name legally changed to Richard Dawson. While he's better known these days as the former host of Family Feud and for awkwardly kissing dozens of female contestants who appeared on the program, Dawson's legendary appearance on Match Game helped pave his way to game show success. Previously, he had appeared in the comedy series Hogan's Heroes, and all around he was a fantastic performer. In the bottom left panel spot, Dawson always had a clever answer prepared, and quite often it was the matching one. After Dawson departed Match Game, it was all but impossible to replace him. Besides the shows we mentioned, he also made appearances on shows like Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, The Jack Benny Program, and The Dick Van Dyke Show. On the big screen, he appeared in shows like King Rat, The Devil's Brigade, and Munster Go Home. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FACTSFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. 
Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash faxverse and get 15% off. Betty White The bottom right seat was most famously occupied by Hollywood funny woman Betty White. Born in 1922 in Oak Park, Illinois, White was one of the most legendary TV stars of all time. Throughout her eight-plus decades in the spotlight, she appeared in dozens of series as a regular. For instance, she starred in Life with Elizabeth, Date with the Angels, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Betty White Show, and Hot in Cleveland. By the 70s, White had already been a guest star on a number of game shows. At that point, she probably knew them like the back of her hand. After all, she was even married at one point to popular game show host Alan Ludden. White was the perfect match game panelist. She was always quick on the draw to deliver a joke and always had a big smile on her face when delivering the punchline. Always going last and keeping things fresh must have been quite the challenge, but White made it look easy. Fanny Flagg Born Patricia Neal in 1944 in Birmingham, Alabama, this actress, author, and comedian wrote for Candid Camera and penned several books, including the classic novel Fried Green Tomatoes, before appearing on many game shows. While she's been a guest star on more TV shows than we can count, her stint as a panelist on Match Game is without a doubt the thing she's best remembered for. <laughs> Nipsey Russell not to be confused with the late rapper Nipsey Hussle, Julius Nipsey Russell was an actor, comedian, dancer, and poet born in Atlanta in 1918. During the Second World War, he served as a medic in the U.S. Army. In the 40s, he got his start in show business entertaining patrons while working as a car hop at an Atlanta drive-in called The Varsity. This led to him performing in a comedy act in nightclubs in the 50s. After being discovered by Hollywood talent scouts, he appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1957. He followed that appearance up by making another on Jack Parr's The Tonight Show. This led to him landing a supporting role in the sitcom Car 54, Where Are You? In 1970, Russell co-starred in the TV adaptation of Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park. He followed that role up by making several appearances on The Dean Martin Show. During these years, Russell was a panelist on a handful of game shows, including Match Game. On Match Game, he was known for typically answering questions with a rhyming poem. While he later played the Tin Man in The Wiz, Russell was perhaps best known for being a professional game show panelist. Because while he was a gifted and hilarious performer, as the top left panelist on Match Game, he never disappointed. Please. Joanne Flug it had to be quite challenging for any celeb to occupy the bottom left position on Match Game. Being the seat closest to host Gene Rayburn, the seat was usually reserved for an attractive woman who had to put up with his continual and shameless flirtatiousness. Flug not only fearlessly endured Rayburn's endless barrage of playful advances, but she frequently tossed them right back at him with seemingly little effort. Flug also seemed to always be able to hold her own against Flag, Summers, and White, a task very few were capable of doing. Just like Russell, Joanne was born in Atlanta, Georgia. After graduating from high school in Winter Park, Florida, she studied broadcasting at the University of Miami. Flug got her start hosting a weekly radio show called The Magic Carpet. She went on to host a weekly talk show called Montage for four years before becoming the first woman to host a live weekly television talk show in the late 60s on LA's KHG-TV. In 1967, Flug voiced the Invisible Girl in the animated version of Fantastic Four. The previous year, she landed her first credited role in the sci-fi film Cyborg 2087. In the hit 1970 film M.A.S.H., Flug played U.S. Army nurse Lieutenant Maria Dish Schneider. She went on to appear as a guest star in several TV shows like Chips, The Dukes of Hazzard, Adam-12, and The Love Boat, to name a few. She was a frequent panelist on Match Game from 1973 to 1981, and she also co-hosted the 1970s version of Candid Camera with Alan Funt. From 1981 to 82, she was a series regular on the ABC action-adventure series The Fall Guy. Later in her career, Flug appeared in the 1997 film Traveler. That same year, she had a role in the mystery thriller film Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite celebrity panelist on Match Game? Let us know in the comments section below.